Okay, so now we're going to talk about calculating safe dosages in our pediatric patients. You will notice when you are preparing your um, pre-labs for your pediatric patients that there are ranges of what is a safe dose for our patient. You also may notice that there are different ranges based on the patient's condition. For instance, ampicillin um, has a different dosing if you have a neonate in the first 30 days of life, but I do not believe any of you will be caring for a baby under 30 days of age since um, we won't be in intensive care at nursery. So we look up under infants and children, and we can use 100 to 200 milligrams per kilo per day, um, divided in four doses for most um, instances. However, if we fear that that child may have a more life-threatening um, infection, like meningitis, we can dose up to 200 to 400 milligrams per kilo per day. So we have one reference that says I can give 100 to 200 divided in four doses. And if the child has a more life-threatening infection, it says Actually, I could give 200 to 400 milligrams per kilo per day divided in four doses. So when you are calculating the safe dose for your patient, you need to look at the possible range, in which case this is for ampicillin. And the references say my patient can have 100 up to 400 milligrams per kilo per day. So first of all, we have to figure out how much is saved based on the kilogram weight. So let's say my patient is a 17 kilo child. So I would take 100 times 17 up to 400 times 17 in a daily dose. So 17 times 100, that's easy, that's 1700 to 400 times 17. to 6,800 milligrams in a day. That is total allowable dosing for this patient based on their weight. However, we give ampicillin in four doses. We give ampicillin um, divided every six hours. So we can maintain an adequate serum concentration. If we give it every six hours, six times four doses, that's our 24 hours. So we then need to divide this total daily dose by four, because we're going to give four doses. So our safe dose would be 1700 divided by 4, 425 milligrams to 1700 milligrams in one dose. Let me give you another example. But this is how you are going to write out on your pre-labs how you calculated the safe doses of your patient's prescribed meds. It needs to be demonstrated with the math that you have proven 
that the dose is safe. Um, let us do another medication. Um, how about uh, you can we can give um, a patient can have uh, 150 milligrams per kilo up to 400 milligrams per kilo per day. Remember, we have to look at what the reference is telling us. You will see references that will say that it's okay to give 50 milligrams per kilo per dose. So it's very important to look at what time frame you're working with. Um, so here, let's have a simple 5 kilo patient, 150 times 5, up to a maximum of 400 times 5, uh, 5 times 150. 750 milligrams to a max of 2,000 milligrams in a day. Now, you need to look at your reference and look at how it's ordered on your patient because Children with compromised metabolisms because of liver failure or renal failure may actually have less frequent dosing because they are not clearing the drug quickly enough. If it says that it can be given um, divided Q12 hours to 24 hours, if our patient is getting it every 12 hours, then we are going to divide this total daily dose by 2, so 750 divided by 2. We would say that this patient's safe dosage is between 325 milligrams to 1,000 milligrams because we are going to give that twice because it's every 12 hours. And we know in 24 hours, based on our reference, this would be our total daily dose. All right. So most importantly, you need to look at the um, dose schedule. Is it per dose? Is it per day? And then when it says per day, does it say every you know, divided every um, six hours, so they're going to get four doses. Or is it going to be Q eight hours? So we're going to give a total of three doses in a 24-hour period. Is it a daily one-time dosing? Or we give it Q 12 hours. Okay? So those are the things that you have to be cognizant of when you're calculating safe doses, all right?